Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a fantastic day and we're just going to have a little bit of fun today. I have four journals to share with you today that have been added to the marketplace and two things I want you to remember. Number one, free shipping to the United States on all orders. And number two, if you didn't see the post on my Facebook group today, Nevermore Creations, Junk Journals and Friends. So go join there if you haven't. But I mentioned that I have put dozens of items on sale this morning. I would say over half the store I've reduced um, in price a little bit. So happy shopping. That's the first thing I want to remind you, um, or the first set of things I want to talk about. The next thing is this crazy project I started. Um, this is not what the video is about. I just thought you would enjoy my craziness. Um, I decided, I was, desired, I desired, I decided, and I guess I desired or I wouldn't have done it. <clears throat> It was inspired by Pam at the Paper Outpost um, to do something similar and to create a whole bunch of journals at one time. And so I have 20 journals I am working on. I have so far all of the covers cut down to size. There are going to be three different sizes, a nine by six, five by seven, and five and a half by eight, something like that and they i'm working on them slowly well i just started last night so but we're working on it so this cover is ready to go they're going to be all different themes just whatever i throw together um oh man i love these flamingos this is wallpaper there's two of them and so i'm going to enjoy decorating these up and then i've done this vintage cover and then the next cover i'm going to do is this black and white polka dot theme um, and I'm not necessarily going to release all 20 at one time. I, as I complete them, I'll probably release them. I don't know, but I thought you'd appreciate my, my crazy endeavor there. And so we'll see if I run out of steam before I finish that. Also, I'll say right before I get into the journals is that I have started just listing some items in the shop without showing them on video. They're my items. I'm still showing all my artist stuff on here. But um, over the weekend, I was just creating from scraps. And then I was like, I don't really have time to put this in a video. I just want to get it up. And so you, you may want to check from time to time, especially over the weekend. I added just several little things. And um, one of them already sold. But so you just may want to check from time to time because you never know that I may be adding something and you don't see it in a video. However, if you're an artist and you've sent things in, yours will definitely be shown in the video. So here we go. Journal number one for today. Isn't this beautiful? I know you can't feel it over the video, but this is kind of a little bit of a raised wallpaper. It is gorgeous. And this tassels to die for. Very woodland uh, inspired there. What a beautiful three signature journal. I love the blank label. Makes it very easy for you to write whatever you want on it. And uh, this is called It's Autumn. Who's it from? I think, I think. I do not see a name. Digital's Goofy Critters from Nevermore. Oh, Creation 17. So yeah. Oh, but you used it. I'll talk about that in just a minute. I'm pretty sure this is Rosa's. And Rosa... Um, I have supplies. She's one of my suppliers, okay? So I have a box of supplies she sent and then this journal. So I'm showing the journal today because today's about journals. And then tomorrow, make sure you're subscribed, tune back in, and you'll get to see the supplies she sent. So here we go. Now, what she was talking about, see the little froggy and mouse courting here? Oh, is it so cute? Love it. So I shared that image on... Um, my Creative Fabrica fans page. Definitely consider, can't talk. And then this would be from Vintage Image Club. But definitely consider joining that. I will put that link in the description box below. I must have double shared that image. I'm wondering if I did. <laughs> this is the Froggy Goes Court in from Creative Fabric of Fans, but I'm wondering if I also have it in Vintage Image Club, which is fine. Ah, confusing, confusing. There's so many digitals out there. It is insane. I have put so many out into the world that I forget 
but so cute. So if you need Vintage Image Club in your life, then you will need to purchase the Ultimate Lifetime Collection. There's a little banner at the top of my shop. Actually, that's where you can find everything here. So just go to my shop, click the link in the description box below and the banners. There's like three or four banners at the top and you can click on Ultimate Lifetime Collection. That's where you can get Vintage Image Club. Um, and then also there's a banner for Creative Fabric of Fans. You get exclusive digitals and shares and things like that. Over there, it's a fan club that helps support my channel. And I, as of... Um, this weekend when I checked, I had 18 wonderful fans. So excited. I really want to hit the 20 fans mark. So if you could help me do that, that would really make my week. Uh, really make my week. So if you have been considering that, check that out. I will be adding um, new posts all week long. So you won't want to miss any of that. So look at, this is Rosa's. Um, then we have this one. I love the fabric. Isn't that pretty? I probably have it upside down. This is from Catherine Dent. It's called Wilhelmina's Garden. Ooh, pretty. So Catherine did this as a challenge journal. If you know what I'm talking about, you will understand. If you're new and you haven't heard about it, go over to that Facebook group again, Nevermore Creations, Junk Journals and Friends. Click the announcement section. That will give you more than you want to read on it, I am sure, the challenges that I do. But Wilhelmina was one of the digitals. Here's Typewritten Beauty. And we've been working through these digitals, making beautiful journals together. I love how she added script and lace in here. That's been a very popular digital. This is Time Past from Dreamy Designs Club. Again, that would be under the Ultimate Lifetime Collection in my shop. I love this gorgeous, kind of peachy vintage look you have, Catherine. Beautiful belly band. The labels are from Wilhelmina. So if you're looking for any of the digitals I mentioned, use the little search bar on my shop and then just type it in. Or go to Lindsay's Digitals, scroll through till you find the one that piques your interest. And the prints, I have a print shop, and I can mail you printed versions of any of my digitals, and that is free shipping. So, exciting. Beautiful, beautiful, Catherine. I love the way this looks. Isn't that gorgeous? I would love to have this sitting like near my bed on the end table for like a gratitude journal or a prayer journal or a doodle journal or brain dump journal or something like that because it is so beautiful. It's almost a piece of home decor. So that was from Catherine. Next, we're going to look at this one. And again, this is wallpaper. It's been covered over a book. Gorgeous lace and trim. Love the colors. I want to say I've seen this uh, wallpaper and it's very possible it was purchased from my shop, which I always found super exciting. This is from Darcy. And Darcy, I want to thank you for the fabric you sent me. I love these, especially this one. So pretty. And you sent me enough that I can cover journals or something with it. So I appreciate that. Thank you, sweet friend. So this is a journal Darcy sent. And how beautiful is this cover? This is a challenge as well. We were just talking about that. This is called Soft and Sweet Botanicals, and she's used Wilhelmina, Typewritten Beauty, Dear to My Heart, as well as some um, Liana Scraps. Uh, check her out on Etsy, and she used the Soft Roses from Liana Scraps. And then also from me, Yellow Roses, so um, some coffee dye paper and Bow Bunny paper pads. <clears throat> Cultivate, uh, sorry, my throat, I've mentioned over the past week or two, my throat it's much better it's not scratchy anymore it's just still a little <clears throat> gonna clear it so pardon me if i'm coughing more or not coughing but clearing my throat cultivate beauty within yourself this is from typewritten beauty so is this think lovely thoughts speak lovely words that's from typewritten beauty this is from wilhelmina i definitely highly recommend that if you are a floral junk journal maker um, a vintage junk journal maker, a rose junk journal maker that you get Wilhelmina and Typewritten Beauty just to have to use throughout your journals because they're that tight. Um, this one I think is from Queen of Random Image Club, which is retired. So again, you would find that in the Ultimate Lifetime Collection, but it's a pink collage page that I did for that club. 
The only club that is currently active right now is Holiday Image Club. And all you have to do is click the little search bar and hit write Holiday Image Club and hit enter. It pops right up for only $5. It is only available uh, for $5 through October. Then it will go back into hibernation probably until the next holiday season. But I have been adding some new items to it. Plus there are uh, dozens in different categories of Christmas and Halloween and Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day and birthday and all those wonderful things. New Year's. So bring out the beauty in others. Again, that is type written beauty. This one would be, maybe I did that one too, did I? Oh, I don't remember. This one might be laying on a scrap. Nope. It goes with the set. I love how I get confused. I used to be so proud of the fact that I knew which ones were mine and which kit it was from. But one year I have, I think, over 200 digitals. And now I'm like, oh, is that mine? I'm pretty sure it's mine. What is it called? I don't know. <laughs> this is Wilhelmina Yellow Roses. Very beautiful, Darcy. Beauty is all around us. That's from Typewritten Beauty. I love your coffee dyed paper. Little fussy cuts are from Wilhelmina. Love your scrap pocket. Now, I've been using um, scraps. I tend to line them all up in a straight line and have a jagged edge overlaying, but I love how they're kind of just mishmashed on here. I need to try that. It won't look as good as yours, but I need to try it. And she has a sweet little pack of ephemera that you can use throughout the journal. I'm super pumped that this is fabric reinforced. So this is a high quality, good quality journal that is going to hold up to loss of use. You definitely want to purchase this one. It is really beautiful. It would make a gorgeous gift too for Christmas for somebody. So that one's from Darcy. We have one more journal to look at and I believe it's also from Darcy. I love this fabric. Isn't that beautiful? Now you could put your favorite vintage image on here or just leave it. Three signatures and then there's even a little eyelet. I think it's holding these little button bookmarks. Let's take a peek. This is also from Darcy. It's called Eclectic and Vintage. Repurposed packaging covered in fabric and wallpaper. So here's the wallpaper. There's some glitter on it. Gorgeous. Coffee dyed paper, wallpapers, digitals from my shop. She used work basket moths. That's this one. It's one of my earlier kits. I haven't used it in a long time. It is a beautiful kit. So work, ba work basket moths. Uh, hand blocked printed fabric. And then some from Modern Maiden and People Image Club. And then Liana Scrap as well. Um... Again, the Modern Maiden People Image Club, they're retired. They're in the Ultimate Lifetime Collection. So just purchase that collection. I think it's $150 and you get access to all of my digitals, um, all the clubs. And the only thing you don't get is the Creative Fabric of Fans Club because that is exclusive. But everything else you get there. This is Work Basket Mods, Hand Block Printed Fabrics. And all the new stuff that I add to the shop gets put into ultimate lifetime collection so you're constantly getting new stuff so that's exciting this is the hand block printed fabrics paper pack work basket mods it is gorgeous darcy i love how you paired the paper pack with this oh there's a little queen card we have some secret pockets as well with some postcards. Love it. Just beautiful. It's one of the ephemera pieces from Work Basket Moths. What do we have? Ooh, gorgeous. I was thinking about how I have all these digitals, you know, I'm talking about that. I'm thinking I need to do some kind of a little series on YouTube um, of just flipping through the digital so you know what's in what and then having links below, kind of like as a resource. So let me know what you think about that. Like the videos would probably be two minutes. I don't know, like less than three minutes long and just flipping through. Oh, I love that bookmark. It's a wallpaper bookmark. Of course, you could use that in a book you're reading. And just showing so it would be like work basket moths and then would flip through you would see each page and each ephemera page 
And then the description box would have the link so you could click it and go right there. And that way it could be a resource to see, oh, do I want this one? Do I not want it? I'm not thinking about doing that. Love the little bit of glitter. Darcy, it's gorgeous. Love it. So that's what we've added today, these four journals. And then don't forget to just look around the shop. Um, there are a lot of sales, a lot of good deals, and it's all free shipping. So add it to your order. It's not going to cost you anything more. And um, yeah, please let me know what you think about my giant endeavor of 20 journals. I want to know. And also if there's maybe a theme that you want to see, it doesn't mean that I will be able to do it, but if somebody mentions something and I'm like, oh, I have the perfect image for that, then maybe you'll, you'll see it later. But tune in tomorrow to see Rosa's supplies. We have several supplies that she sent. You won't want to miss it. I'll see all of you later. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. And as always, have a wonderful crafty day.